What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So I wanna make a really quick and short video for you guys, cause not only do like, I don't think maybe a lot of people know this, but a lot of people in my community didn't and they just found this out tonight during the live stream. So I wanna go over it again and maybe a lot of people don't know. So if you're like me and you always are running out of resources, like my silver ore is always low when I'm upgrading gear, I'm always running out of resources to upgrade gear as well as to you know imbue powers and do all these things i'm always running out right so if you don't know when you do upgrade an item and you salvage it to save a bunch of resources you get it all back so i'm going to go over and show this as an example here so we're going to upgrade these boots because i don't need these boots these boots suck so you guys are going to see 10 and 3 10 15 5 and 3 28 6 and 2 30, 12, 9, 5, and 2 Forgotten Souls. Now these are level 5. Now, when you do upgrade a gear piece, it does increase its value in gold. So at the start, these were 28,000 I could sell them for. Boosting them to level 5 makes them 31,000 gold. It's only 3,000 more. And it's not really a lot. So you may think, oh man, I'm selling these items. They're going to be a lot more. It's not really that much at all. So you really actually lose out when you're considering how much it takes to get those resources. However, in the blacksmith, you guys are going to see I'm going to salvage these boots because I don't need them. And then boom, you're going to get all your salvage materials back. You get them all back. It's an absolute game changer when it comes down to your resources and what you need to do to upgrade gear. Because real quick, I'm going to show you not only do I have all these items upgraded, but I have all these upgraded too. And if you're like me and you're playing multiple classes with multiple builds because Blizzard still hasn't given us a closet, which is just hypocrisy and an outrage. I have so many items in each of my classes that I've upgraded for multiple builds, as you guys can see here. Multiple gear for the Sork for three different builds, four different builds. Each one of these lines is a build for my druid, including the gear that my druid's wearing. So I have literally have five different builds for my druid. This is Barbarian and Rogue. I haven't even started on them yet. And then just my uniques that I have here. And a lot of these will end up getting upgraded. So if you are low on resources, as you're leveling or in you're in the end game and you're like me and you just have super, super low resources... When you come over and upgrade an item and you salvage it, you're going to get all of those resources back. Okay, again, just to kind of showcase, uh, this armor is actually really, really good. I kind of want to save it. But um, where's one that I could just salvage? I want to keep all this. I want to keep that. All right, I'll just use the armor. It's not, it's not too crazy. Um, yeah. So we'll upgrade the armor one more time just to showcase. Right, sells for a little bit more, and then we will just salvage the item and we get all of our resources back. It's an absolute game changer. If you guys didn't know, a lot of people didn't know this, so definitely save your resources because these things come in handy very, very much in the end game. So, yeah, guys, I just wanted to make a very quick video on how to save your resources for the end game and reuse them. So, yeah, definitely do that. Like the video if you guys have enjoyed it. Subscribe if you guys are new. Comment down below if you guys didn't know this. Let me know if this video has helped you. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.